Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm real excited today. I uh, took the 7mm08 today to the range, first time shooting it, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, yes, had a little of an accident with the scope. Was not the 7mm08, actually the darn 300 WSM, but I'm not showing that in today's video. We're focusing on the 7mm08, and I'm real excited to show you how it shot. Let me show you the gun real quick. This is obviously a 7mm08. It's a little unique though. It's actually a 7mm08 carbine. Yes, it has an 18 and a half inch barrel. Uh, the rifle is a Remington 788. I'm going to be shooting factory ammo in this rifle today, and I'm going to be shooting the 139 grain Superformance uh, from Hornady. And uh, this will be interesting to see because, you know, the box says it's going to be going 2950, but this is with a much shorter barrel. So I'm curious to see how fast it'll go. Then they'd have to tell him quit leaning on the bench. You have another magazine or, uh, you know, let Okay, she'll be down to action. The next three shot group I want to test two things. One, the velocity with you know the chronograph on the end of the barrel, and two, how much does that chronograph affect the accuracy? So I'll be curious to see what it does. Had the first the back that has the quad rail on it. Yeah. The shoot it has the quad rail on it. Yeah. The shoot. I need I need to you know, yeah. don't change it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna a new one. And that's on a firearm that has the ability to go firearm that has the ability to go uh yep. Wow, that's consistent. I want to get another Good. bolt stop for my three they don't make uh -huh. they don't make one that just one put in one gold. The next three shots are from my friend Daniel. He's shooting at the top target, bottom right. Almost dead center. If I need to go down, I'll Oh now I'm curious to see how you yeah, that's almost right next to it, huh? Yeah. You're good. Go when you're ready. Yep, ready. Yeah, that one flew a little. Yeah, it went left. Yeah. Not bad. All right, back from the range. Let's just uh, take a look at these groups. Now, I didn't show this in video at all, but uh, this is my buddy's 30 out 6. He's shooting a 168 grain TTSX. Previously, this bullet was shooting uh, three quarter inch, so I'm not surprised it's within you know 1.1 inches. So I mean, there's you're gonna find some differences. I mean, the temperature was a lot warmer this time when we shot it, uh, but still definitely good to hunt with. Uh, this load is going averaging around 29-30 feet per second, so it's a pretty good one. Now let's uh, let's look at the 7M08 uh, as my my friend that has the 30 out six, he shot this group. And you remember the first two shots were right next to each other and that last one was a bit of a flyer. So it shot a 1.593 inch group groups. The very first three shot group I did with this 7mm08 shot about a 1.546 inch group. So not great, not terrible for factory ammo. And then I did put this, the Magno Speed Chronograph on it and the group, the group opened up quite a bit, about twice the size. We did find out the velocities with this short 18 and a half inch barrel 
going average around 2817. Uh, the box says 2950, but that's with a 22 inch barrel. So, not surprised with the velocities. Uh, but so far, uh, the 7M08 is uh, looking pretty good, even with factory ammo. Um, yeah. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. I uh, hope you have a, a great day.